Today we're checking out firmware version 2.6 for the Panasonic GH5. I did a test yesterday just using simple face tracking and also one area mode. If you missed that video, I'll leave a link up in the cards and you can check that out. Today we're checking the AF Near and AF Far and hopefully I can explain a little bit about how it works and the kind of results that I got. Let's get into it. Now, if you're not sure how to find these new options, simply press the menu button Go into the C with the wrench, and then click Focus Release Shutter, and then go down to AFAE Lock, and then you can select either Near or Far from this menu down the bottom. Firstly, let's try it with the Near Focus option, which takes priority over things closer to the camera than further away. I'm gonna just be the subject in this, and we're gonna go out the back and see if we can confuse it with all of my trees. Here we go. Up next, we're gonna test the autofocus in a different way. I'm gonna see whether or not it actually works if I'm standing there and then I hold something up to the camera. Let's give it a shot. This next near focus test is just some leaves moving around and I've got the camera in a position where it's still seeing quite a lot of the background and I'm hoping it doesn't hunt back and forwards trying to find something to lock onto like it would normally. So let's try this.
This next test will take a look at the AFR option, which means it's gonna take priority of things in the background. But firstly, I'm gonna see how it responds with something right in the foreground. We're gonna lift it up and see if we can then focus on the background and then bring it back down and see if it swaps back or whether it maintains focus in autofocus mode on the background. This should be interesting. Let's try it. So the big question is, is there any improvement to the autofocus? Absolutely, but not in every mode. I still think face tracking, one area mode, and to some extent 255 is now usable depending on what you want to use it for. I like the fact that it worked really well using that AFR option where I was focused in on something close, I lifted the camera up, I locked in on the background, I brought it back down, and it didn't shift focus. So that definitely works really well, worked on all the modes that I tried for that particular mode. Now in terms of the AF near mode, when I was just focusing in on the actual leaves on the tree, it worked extremely well in every mode. It didn't do anything weird, it didn't seem to hunt too much or anything like that, it just stayed in focus, which is the idea of any of these cameras. So they are getting better, that mode definitely worked well. It wasn't perfect by any means when I was holding something up to the camera. I'd probably opt to leave that off. After the test I did yesterday on my last video, I kind of feel that AF near is good if you're not gonna all of a sudden hold something up in front of the camera. If you are doing that, maybe just leave it off and use one area mode like I've recommended on my other videos in the past. So overall, this up, update, upgrade, whatever to the firmware has definitely helped the autofocus to some extent. It's still not perfect and if you rely on autofocus and you can't handle any sort of wavering or any confusion, the GH5 probably still isn't the best camera for you, but I love it. I've got two of these, I'm a big fan, and I think testing it with the Leica 15mm f1.7, which is maybe the most unfriendly lens to test with autofocus that I own with the GH5, it did pretty damn well. So let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching. My name's Shane. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell. If the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it and all that kind of cool stuff. Head over to Geeky Nerdy Techie for full reviews and tech tutorial guides. Thank you. Catch you soon. See ya.